We are back with more with our guests on Cross Counter this week, Clakey D. Thank you for sticking around with us for a little bit. <laughs> yeah. And we have a few questions for you from the audience, of mm -hmm. course, if you don't mind. Go for it. <laughs> yeah. So Taylor Chen, our buddy from Columbus, yeah, Ohio, yeah. took real good care of us when we were out there. Yeah. Uh, he wants to know... How did it feel to get me? <laughs> I can't even say it. With how did it feel? I know it's coming. How did it feel, Clark? Clark, yeah. just between me and you. Yeah. How did it feel to get murder faced? I was furious. Yes, <laughs> that's what I wanted. I was to enraged. See. Um, For those, let me let's do a little setup. Yeah. And you know, I, unfortunately, I wasn't. Uh, I was. I didn't actually get to see it. Okay. Um, Why didn't you see it? Oh, you know, I got kicked out of SCR, so I didn't get to see it. Uh, oh, did you guys not know? I didn't know that you, you were too busy like getting murder faced. I got murder faced. <laughs> yeah. You got kicked and out. And I was salty yeah. because, see. Okay. So did any of us see it besides Clark? I saw it. Okay, Let all right. So you. set it up. Set it okay, up. Okay, I'm going to set up what happened, okay? Here's what happened. Don't go too far back. I'm going too far back, uh, okay? Because okay? right. so you have to know my perspective. Yeah. Okay. Is Clark took me out of the tournament. Obviously. <laughs> Clark gimmicked me to death in the bookie <laughs> and took me out of the tournament. But that tournament, you know, Tokido, out of towner. I wanted to play him. I All was right. prepared to play him. And, um, you know, I was thinking about my Akuma strats or whatever, and I was getting ready for that. And then I lost to this bum, Clicky D. And uh, when he played Tokido, you know, I expect you to beat him. It's like, you, you know. I should have beaten him. You, you were ready. That was your moment. I did better than you would have, though. Well, Mike didn't get murder faced. <laughs> I didn't That's get murder true. faced. Okay. So when I saw that, I'm like, yes, it didn't happen to me. That could have been me. I was so happy to imagine, see that. Yeah. Oh, I, I wonder what would have happened if that was. Me and, Cl me, me and Clark would have been asking you, Mike. So. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But fortunately, I don't know what that feels like. And I'm the only one. You're the only one. I'm the only one that will ever know. That's so, ever gotten murder faced. So he, okay. I mean, what happened? Like, you got hit by a demon. Right. But. Right when he did the demon, he stood up mm -hmm. on stage, right. turned his back to the crowd, and just was like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, what an amazing moment, man. Yeah. I it was, it was, it was, it was amazing. I honestly didn't know what he was doing at first. I thought he just ultra me, got up, and was leaving, and just, like, being very disrespectful. <laughs> I, thought, I thought he was just going to walk off the stage and be like, this guy is ass. I'm out of here wasting my time. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he cut in a way... <laughs> Right, 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 I think that's what he was. That's saying. pretty much. Um, and I would have, I would have actually been upset if he had just walked off the stage. But yeah. after he, you know, he did his pose and everything, he came back over and shook my hand and said, "Good game." So yeah. I mean, even though he did what he did <laughs> yeah, and I got murder yeah. face, um, he still had um, the manners to come back and you right. know, shake my hand, which was nice of him. I mean, he's a cool guy. So, yeah. And that was really smart what I, he did. I think ever since that moment, that's when you stepped your game up, just in general, and you've been a very good player ever right, since right. that it's the anger is the angst has <laughs> been dwelling inside me well, from that moment I can't wait for the Clicky D Tokido run back yes. we're gonna run I, it back yeah, I can't wait for that we're gonna run it back um, I'm sure he's gonna be at one of these tournaments coming up soon right he's gonna be at final round Oh yeah, well hopefully you can make it there so I'm we can see, see that. It. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was supposed to go, yeah. but due to certain circumstances, uh, I you... might not be able to go anymore. Well, let's hope those circumstances <laughs> change quickly and you make let's it, because the, so. the world needs to feel Clicky right. D inside them. <laughs> 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 Next question from, sorry if I butcher it, Ryan Freel, Ryan Frail on Facebook, and he asks a uh, very good question: How did you get your name? Clicky D. Um, that's a funny story. Uh, actually, a long time ago, I think I was like 11 <laughs> years old, which isn't that right. long ago. <laughs> yeah, I was like, yeah, exactly. All right, go ahead. Um, I, I was playing Counter Strike at a land center, um, and one of my friends typed in the chat. He was gonna call me Clarky, but he misspelled my name and said Clicky. So that's where it, it just stuck. <laughs> After that, it just stuck. Everybody was laughing. And at first it was a joke. People would call yeah. me Clakey as a joke. Yeah. Um, but then it just stuck and everybody started calling me Clakey. But the D wasn't there yet. <laughs> where did, until, the, where until, did the D come from? Until I met my other friend whose name is Tommy D. And then so <laughs> he started calling me Clakey D. So it was a combination of two different events that cultivated the name Clicky D. Very good. 
yes. Oh, that's and, good. and the, the, the D that's also comes story. because my middle name is Douglas. Oh, okay. My middle name, my middle initial is D. Yeah. So okay. it would be, yeah. Clakey D. Right. I think, a, I think it's, it's got a good ring. I think it's got yeah, a very good ring. Yeah, it turned it. out to work out pretty well. Yeah. I like it. Um, uh, Let me jump into one more quick yeah, question yeah, yeah, yeah. here. Go ahead, uh, Ross. This one comes from Matthew Safar. I'm the worst at pronouncing names. You're fired. I'm, I'm <laughs> spitting all over the place. I'm fired. I'm sorry, guys. It's not my day. But Matthew asks, how does he, how do you feel about Ibuki and AE arcade edition? Um, obviously they slightly nerfed some of her stuff, like the damage uh, mm-hmm. and stun on Neckbreaker and the damage on Kunai. Um, but they did give her buffs and a new target combo, and they nerfed her bad matchups mostly. So overall, I think in AE, she's better. Especially her standing medium kick is a frame faster now, which makes her seem a lot better. I don't know if it was just me. I only played <laughs> AE, you know, for about a week or two until, yeah. I mean, now Marvel is out. But uh, I think Ibuki overall is a better character in AE, with the exception of Yan and Yang in the game. Well, yeah, well, yeah, we're not going to talk about them. That's a whole other... <laughs> okay. okay. didn't, they, didn't they adjust her vortex so that it's... Right. They did also, um, they did also adjust her neck breaker mm-hmm. they changed the distance uh, of abuki after she lands a neck breaker oh, so the vortex subtle. after a neck breaker is different um but overall i mean i think it's still the mm-hmm. same mm-hmm. i mean you can still get as tricky or as ambiguous as you could in uh super it's just right. instead of just standing there and waiting in super after a neck breaker you walk forward or you super jump or you just do a little something extra after the neck breaker to do your vortex instead of just standing and waiting very good. Gotcha. Awesome. Well, good to know. Yeah. Last question. Richard Stevens from Facebook wants to know, who's better at Marvel? Clay D or Mike Ross? Oh, we're going to have to settle it. <laughs> we're going to have to settle it. I think that calls for a first to five. We're first to set. five? We're going to run a set. We're going to run a set. We're gonna run a set. Wait, what set. are you guys going to play for, though? We're playing for something? I mean... I'm not going to win. I, last time we played, I beat you 5-0. No, the last time we and played, I beat you 5-0 No, it's only because I used Sentinel. I like, beat you wh- 5-0 twice. Two sets, I beat you 5-0. I didn't use Sentinel the first game. I you beat, beat me 5 sets, 5-0. And then I picked Sentinel, and I beat you 5-0. And then we played a third set, where you still use Sentinel. <laughs> you continue to use Sentinel, and I beat you 5-0. You didn't beat me 5-0 Wait, right, so set. basically, you guys have beaten each other 5-0, back and forth, 5-0. back and forth. Because it's Marvel. Well, <laughs> yeah, it's Marvel 3. But I mean, you know, it's, like, it's all speculation right now. There's no proof. Let's make the proof right now. Let's make it. <laughs> Alright, sounds like a channel. See, see, what I did? see what I did for you guys? <laughs> We're going to have Mike Ross versus Clakey D. In a first of five, you guys winner winner buys. I mean, loser first, buys lunch. First of five might okay. be a little too many games. First of three. First of three. I'll do first, first of three. First, three. first, three. first of three. That way, fighting faster. Okay. Get it over. All right. All right. First of three. All right. Well, guys, watch out for that video. That'll be coming up very soon. Clark, thanks again for joining thanks, us, man. We I'm will... not gonna shake his head. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Good luck. All right. Later, guys.